Hi, I'm live on Akiang Show. YouTube, watch today. Hi, I'm uh, David W. Smith, and I'm a photojournalist. I formerly worked in Taipei and Taiwan News, China News, Apple Daily, and uh, I'm just here promoting my book a little bit before moving to Canada, where I'm from. I was based in Laos, but I spent a lot of time in Taiwan. Um, my book's in Chinese, it's called uh, Taiwan Ni Hao or Hello Taiwan and uh, it recounts my experiences here over about 15 years from the 90s till up until the sunflower protest. So I've uh, been fortunate enough to cover some large events during Taiwan's history democracy, elections, disasters, those kind of things. And some funny street type photography, which is what I really like doing. Taiwan's a great place to be a photographer. There's always something happening. You can probably hear the traffic and see it in the background. It's just go, go, go all the time. So there's always people and things to photograph. And, uh, even though, even as it grows more modern, there's still Always quirky little Taiwan things to photograph. Newspapers before, years ago, they were film and all the photographers, it's like a social element. They would uh, come together in the photo labs and uh, that way um, they share experiences more now than when it's digital. So social aspect that's being lost today because of technology. It's kind of interesting. Uh, one of the biggest events I covered was the 921 earthquake, 1999, September 21st. And thousands of people were killed and only one building in uh, Taipei suffered a lot, but it was that 85 people were killed in the Songshan or Eastern Star Building. And, um, I covered that rescuing and things and just the damage and then went to southern Taiwan for about 10 days so it was difficult to cover but um, it's pretty satisfying too to do record history and see how the Taiwanese people came together you know, when bad things happen uh, good often comes out of it I'm trying to think yeah my book uh, it's Chinese I originally wrote it in English and they translated to Chinese when I came back to finish my book, I accidentally came across the Sunflower Movement and uh, I covered that. I ended up uh, getting arrested for a short time, so I got to experience the Taiwanese justice system, but all seems to be well with that. So After a day at the police station, it was really uh, quite fascinating and I wrote about it all in the book. So it was a good way to end it from 1997 when I first came until last spring. When I left Taiwan, I, I, would, uh, I went to live in Bangkok, Thailand. Well, Hong Kong for a, a bit, which I didn't like too much after living in Taiwan. Then I went to Bangkok, Thailand. But while in Thailand, I'd always go across the border to Laos. And I've been going for about 12, 14 years to Laos. It's just a beautiful place. It's almost the opposite of Taiwan because it's so slow. And, undeveloped but I've been uh, living there the past three years working as a communications officer for an intergovernmental agency uh, and at the same time traveling the country photographing it which is my passion just capturing moments that aren't staged just natural and maybe unique to that place because it's changing rapidly too it's developing China and other countries are coming in and building things and affecting the traditional culture. So, but I hope to do a book on, on Laos, maybe a travelogue first, a writing which is a lot more difficult for me than the photography, uh, recounting my experiences there, just the people you meet and the interesting situations you get in. It's a communist country, so in that way it's quite the opposite from Taiwan. But, uh, but it's a great place to be. But for now, back to Canada. Okay. 
I love Taiwan.